Today we're in Sonnin, we're going to walk up to Ship Lake and make it around. We've parked our car at Sonnin Eye, free parking, so we'll see you there. So we're starting our walk from Sonnin Eye. We're at the car park now, there's enough parking for half a dozen cars. We just bear off right round the bend. This is a dead end road, so we head forward now. We walk up to the main road and cross straight over. The path runs down the side of the allotments. You've got the road on your left. We're soon out into the fields. We just keep heading forwards with the hedge on your left. As you walk forward, you'll see these big trees. Just at the back of there, you've got a tiny stream. Look to your left hand side, you'll see a gate. We go straight through, we turn right there. Within a minute we're at the main road. You've got the Flowering Spring pub on your left. We cross straight over the road, up the little steps in front of you, and then turn right. We're heading forward now, looking for a left turn. We walk forward a couple hundred yards, we see a gap in the hedge, drop down half a dozen steps and turn left. We've got the yellow arrow there, look. We walk forward 50 yards and then turn left. I've just seen a red kite, but he's gone. We're walking forward now, uphill between the two edges and the wildflowers. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a dragonfly. You can see his green head there, look, and his tiny wings left and right. We're about 12, 15 feet away, and we can't hardly see him with our naked eye, but the camera, we hope, has picked it up. You're with the taxi driver down south. Looks like we're in for a good day. Well, there's a lot of dragonflies, butterflies, kites, and the odd aeroplane. We've got a gap in the hedge, so let's take a shot. Well, I don't know if they'll show up, but there's butterflies everywhere. So tiny. It's nice to see them. There must be 30 or 40. Well, we best keep going. As we head forward, we look to left hand side and see that house there, look. When you come to the crossroad of paths, which is just to the side of the house, just keep heading straight forward. We make our way to the road and then turn right. We're walking through Binfield Heath now. Passing the post box, looking for a right turn. Walk forward a hundred yards past the post box, you'll see our footpath sign. The signpost says Ship Lake. As we walk forward, we're following the hedge. We're heading down through the woods now, nice and cool, plenty of bird life. We keep going. Within a few minutes, we're out into the open fields. The path bears off left, uphill. As we make our way uphill, that's looking left. That's the view to our right hand side. We just keep following the path. It bears off left through the hedge. We just keep heading forward. A couple of fields away to our right hand side, we can see the road or cars on the road. And there's an aeroplane just coming in. Well, it's at London Airport, we don't know which one. That's just above us, there's one about every two or three minutes. Can just hear him now. Well, we'll leave that for now, we've a lot to do. You'll walk through a tiny copse, just at the other side, there's a stile on your left. Ignore that, just keep heading forwards. Keep into the right hand side of the hedge. Just keep heading forward 
with the fence on your left hand side till you see the arrow on the post we turn left there yeah we're not far off Ship Lake now at the road we turn right looking for an ice cream because it's red hot again today so we're heading down the village now we're at the main road now crossing straight over up Church Lane and down towards the Thames on your right hand side you've got the pub we've just stopped for 20 minutes for a glass of cool coke and a bag of crisps at the Plowden Arms sat in the shade we're going to keep going now so we're heading down Church Lane now we're in the churchyard now looking down towards the Thames we're making our way to the bottom and then turning right and heading back towards Sonning we just pop into the church for a quick look at these stained glass windows and that that's just in front of us just below is the altar so as you step out the churchyard head straight forward downhill you'll see the blue arrow just before we head forward down to the Thames we turn round and take one last look we're down at the Thames now we're turning right over that tiny bridge we've got a barge just in front of us he's giving us a wave and I'm waving back you've got a long gaggle of geese there looking barge just in background we're more or less keeping pace with the barge at the moment well how long we keep there up in this heat I don't know we keep going just keep taking a couple of shots if we see out of interest just a nice boat there looks like they're parked on a tiny island in the middle of the Thames yeah that's just at the other side of the Thames that's just a quick shot to our right we keep going through a tunnel of trees it's just giving us a bit of shade here Thames is just on our left that's looking right as you can see it's very green very green it is we keep going here we are we've got a couple of rowers and Biggles the boat at the far side and again another one Sonning won't be too far away now we're suddenly running into a bit of life couple of lads there practicing we're back at the bridge in Sonning so at the road we turn right so we're slowly making our way up the road towards Sonning Eye and our car just walk a hundred yards past the hotel looks like we've got an overflow car park here community park and ride and that's just at the side of a farm so we turn left at the roundabout within a couple of minutes we're back at the car we hope you've enjoyed our walk from Sonning up to Ship Lake round you've been walking with a taxi driver today